Okay, this video is going to be all about vexing Yennefer for various reasons. Well, Triss being the main reason. So, the scene we will be taking a look at is the reunion with her after you reach Kaer Morhen with Uma. And suddenly I'm having weird flashbacks of Yennefer and Uma. My oh my. But anyway, your encounter here can go in two main ways depending on whether you said that you love her during her personal quest or you either broke her heart or simply skipped her quest altogether. Please, Geralt. There's nothing left to say. Yen. No more. Please. Now, in case you ended the romance and you bring up the bed she destroyed, she gets really annoyed and you do get only one choice that can appease her, which is where you apologize. That was a mistake. I'm glad you realize it. A mistake engaged in regularly for more than a year. An apology well after the fact, but... I'm glad. And she seems to take it rather well, which actually makes me wonder whether she has really given up on you or not, especially considering this piece of dialogue later on. Yen, can we talk? Why? So you can ask me if we can remain friends despite all? No, I... I mean... Come now, Geralt. I know you. Well enough to know exactly what's going on with you and Triss. Now, I cannot say I'm not tempted to... Hmm... Intervene, but... I believe I'll let it lie this time. How about that? You came here to fumble your way through an explanation, yet instead of enjoying the show, I went and did your job for you. Seems so. But now, enough of this maudlin business. We've something to do, remember? But anyway, this apology is the only way to avoid being thrown out into the nearby river. Know what? We should end this discussion before I say something I'll regret. But I'd love to hear what you have to say. Is that so? Very well then. Listen, you shagged my friend for upwards of a year. I cannot know what your witch's code says on the matter, but ordinary folk would consider it obscene, base, vile. I try not to think about it. That stupid bed was making it difficult. That's that. Not about to grovel, if that's what you're after. I tire of this conversation. It ends now. Ah! Oh. She's really not in the mood. Now, by contrast, if you're still in a romance, her attitude is much more pleasant, especially towards the end where you get this piece of dialogue. Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. However, this is only unless you once again bring up the ruined bed. In this scenario, there is no way to get yourself thrown into the river, uh, because Geralt automatically agrees to let it go, but surprisingly, Yennefer is even more blunt in her description of what went on between you and Triss. Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss, you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew. But that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know. You'd lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. And by the way, can we talk for a second about how Yennefer calls Triss a dear friend even after all that? There's nothing in the game that indicates the fact that Triss and Yennefer are dear friends. And now that I've read the books, it's the same thing there, really. Each of the two sorceresses claims that the other one is a good friend on several occasions, but when they get together, and based on how they act, there's nothing to suggest that. And this is especially the case on the part of Triss, but I suppose that's a topic for another video. And speaking of other videos, I better get back to working on those and bring an end to this one. But before that, I wish to thank you very much for watching and for your support on the YouTube membership thing and Patreon. And until the next video, stay tuned and be good. Do you know what I just realized? Hmm? Except for the <sighs> two of us and Siri, Geralt has slept with every woman on this ship. Don't worry, it's only a matter of time in your case.